Hey friends, my name is Bo. Thanks for joining us for Kid Point Online. This month is all about Christmas, celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. This week we turn to the book of Luke. The Messiah has been promised for generations, but no one would have guessed that God would use a young woman to bring that promise to fulfillment including that young woman herself. Before we jump into the story, it's time for worship. Everyone stand up to your feet. Let's get ready to praise Jesus.
Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke. Chapter 1, verses 26 through 56. Mary of Nazareth was ordinary. True story. An ordinary young woman with an ordinary name, engaged to an ordinary carpenter named Joseph. She lived in an ordinary small town, far from any city that really mattered. In fact, years later, someone would ask, can anything good come from Nazareth? But even though Mary seemed so very ordinary, her heart was not. She loved and trusted God. Even though her people had been ruled over by the Romans for centuries, Mary believed God's promise that someday he would send a rescuer. Blessed are you, O God, our Lord, King of the universe. But no matter how much Mary loved God, she could never have predicted what would happen one ordinary morning. Dishes clean, floor swept, need to fetch water from the well. Mary's morning chores were interrupted by a shimmering flash of light. Oh! A blazing angel stood before her. Its presence seemed to fill the entire room. Mary. The Lord has blessed you in a special way. He is with you. I... I don't understand. Do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. God is pleased with me? You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great, the son of the Most High God. The Lord God will make him a king like his father David of long ago. His kingdom will never end. Dozens of questions raced through Mary's mind. How can this happen? I'm not even married yet. The Holy Spirit will make it happen. In fact, your relative Elizabeth is going to have a baby, even though she is old and people thought she could not have children. That's because what God says will always come true. Mary's mind was still reeling, but she knew she could trust God through all of it. I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. The angel left, the room dimmed. Mary sat down to gather her thoughts. A baby? God's son? I've got to see Elizabeth. As quickly as she could, Mary found a group traveling to the hill country of Judea where Elizabeth lived. After long days on the road, Mary reached the home of Elizabeth and Zechariah. Why, it's Mary! Mary hugged her much older relative. Elizabeth, you really are going to have a baby. As Mary spoke, Elizabeth's baby kicked and rolled inside her. Oh, God has blessed you more than other women, and blessed is the child you will have. Why is God so kind to me? 
Why has the mother of my Lord come to me? How, how did you know? As soon as I heard the sound of your voice, the baby inside me jumped for joy. You are a woman God has blessed. You have believed the Lord would keep his promises to you. Could I stay with you for a while? Of course. It's too quiet around here anyway. Why is that? Zachariah hasn't said a word in more than six months. My goodness. Long story. He met an angel. Gabriel? That's the one. Come in, sit down, have some tea. During the time Mary stayed with Elizabeth, the joy in her heart overflowed. My soul gives glory to the Lord. My spirit delights in God, my Savior. He has taken note of me even though I am not considered important. He has always remembered to be kind, just as he promised to our people long ago. Mary was just beginning to see how God's amazing plan would unfold. She stayed with Elizabeth for three months, and then she returned home. Mary was awestruck when the angel came to announce that she was about to have a child who would be the savior of the world. She found joy trusting that God was up to something bigger than she could have possibly imagined. Bottom line, anything is possible with God. We will face some difficult moments throughout our lives, but no matter what we face, we can trust God and remember that God can do anything. God may still allow us to go through whatever we're facing, but God will be with us and will give us what we need to get through it. So thanks for joining us for Kid Point Online. For more resources, go to lifepointchurch.tv slash kidpoint. We hope to see you next week. And remember, God loves you, has a plan for you, and he's bigger than any need.